what is up guys welcome back to the brave angler so we have been out fishing all day making another video but we actually live really close to the ponds and we just learned that there is 24 different lakes and ponds within the villages that you can fish and right now we're at paradise park down here in lady lake and uh, we're gonna see if we can catch any fish before i have to go back to work tomorrow all right guys so let's get to it guys like he said we've been at it all day so we're gonna take you guys along in different well we'll take you along to the different 24 ponds slash lakes in the villages whether you're planning to move here or you're local enough where you can fish these ponds we'll see what we can get all right guys you guys already know we're gonna start off with the swim bait Oh. Um. That's awkward, little guy. I don't think he even bit it. No. No, I think it was just swimming. No, I think he's just swimming by him and hooked him. Cause look, it's hooked from the outside. One pound. Oh, I guess 112. Yeah, almost 111. <laughs> nice. All right. Yeah, I was guessing 16, but right. you're closer. Wait, wait. Hold them normal. All right. Well, guys, we can move on from this lake. We're just going to keep fishing here, though. We'll, we'll go to the next lake less time. It's already late in the day. That, that happens all. It's like right here. It's like inside. Um, yeah, no, nah, I got you. My flyers are at my house. Uh, 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 oh, yeah, no, you can't have a bait caster and not have pliers, my friend. Well, um, thank you. Well, it's not coming out. Here, let me see it. Yeah, no, it happened to my buddies Abu Garcia the other day. Well, this is not as expensive as that, so. Oh, uh, his was not a expensive one. It's like my third day caster, but I had an old Daiwa one. But so you ha you have a YouTube channel? Uh, we just started one. Right. Thank so. you, by the way. Oh yeah, no problem. I have no idea what I'm doing. If it was a spring wheel, I could take it all apart right here, but. I don't even know if yours will come apart. Uh, oh, yeah. Screws on the side. Yeah, you got a pin like one of mine. That will make it easier. Oh, is that what that's for? I thought it was just a yeah, so, hook onto there. No, no. So this pin goes right. across. Once you unscrew it, you pull it out. Really? And then once you unscrew it all the way, uh, there was, yeah, there was no amount of uh, pulling on that that would have. Uh, I don't even know how I did that. I know. Yeah, I, was just, I was trying to get rid of the thing because I was tired of it being in my bag. Alright, you so, should be good to... Oh, uh, thank you, sir. Read dog. Hey, what was your name? Uh, Stevie. Alright. And uh, I'll, I can check out your YouTube channel. But... Yeah, we're the, the Brave Angler. Okay. All yeah. Right. Right, I'll check out. Still throwing your worm, sweetie? I 
I could put a vibrating jig on there. If you want. That's what I caught all my fish on today. Except for one. How do I, like... Work. How do you work it? You, you literally just reel in. See, watch. Here. I'm going to cast it, and I'll have you reel it in. All right, so just reel in. Put your hand all the way up. You want to palm that. There you go. Pretty close. Close enough. Okay. But you feel it vibrating? You yeah. need to reel in faster. A little faster. That tip should be shaking. Keep going faster. When you feel it vibrating, you're going fast enough. You probably have something gunked up on it. Lift it up. Yep. Welcome to Florida, guys. If you're not getting bit by bugs, you're probably not in Florida. You're probably not in the south. I really hope I don't lose this. No, you won't. It's a 20 pound braid. There's nothing to get caught on out here. Well, I lost two at the other lake. Two of these? No, two worms. Oh, yeah, no. This. You lose the trailer, no problem. You lose the $10 chatterbait, problem. Since we have some calm water here, we have somewhat of a jig on there. You know what? Let's see if we can get some. <laughs> Skip action. That worked out really good. Just kidding. Ooh, that hurt. We'll try that again. Ho oh, ho ho! That was a pretty gnarly skip, guys. You guys probably didn't see that, but that was on point. I think uh, I kind of know what I'm doing. And look, not even a bird's nest. I'm just kidding. I don't know what I'm doing. But you got to admit, that, that's pretty slick. Hey, Caroline, watch this. Never mind. Hold on. Hold it. Of course, as soon as I go, hey, yo, watch this. Did it? Cool, I blame you losing a fish, distracting me. You know what, give me a second. Let me refigure it out. It's all gonna be okay. As soon as the bird nest goes away. Well then, there we go. Line it back up, try it again. We had at least two good ones, guys. All right. All right, you ready? Here we go. A little skip. Hold on. I had I had two really good ones. Had two really good ones. All right, you ready? Dang. I lost it. I lost the mojo. Say what? So you can skip under stuff? Guys, I, I might as well go pro at this point. Just learned skip, skip in in like five seconds. I mean, I'm not, you know, maybe not pro, but you know, at least amateur. This isn't even a skipping jig, guys. This is just a, whoa, okay. 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 
<laughs> I don't. Okay, we just decided to say that was probably my fish that got off. Oh, shit. Um, guys, I, I know you saw that that was completely by accident. I was just trying to get my bait out. Oh. Hey, calm yourself. I'm trying to help you. Goodness gracious. Oh. Boy, you are a fat, fat boy. Okay. Look at that, guys. Oh, Holy crap. This is in a pond. Uh. Like, that is a hog. All right. All right, let's wait. Okay, what was your guess? I would say between three and four. Okay, bye. Four. 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 12, 411. 4.11. 4.11, guys. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't leave now. Yeah. All right, you already got a picture of this hog? Yep. And you were shallow, my guy. You were shallow. Look at that fish, guys. All right, let's get him back. All right, bud. We'll, we'll take you a little deeper. Whenever you're ready. Don't beat yourself. You to you. Dang, guys. So, new personal best. Thank you, Villages. That's uh, vibrating jigs just on the wind today. So you got a two pound bass pretty much and a four pound almost. Almost, yeah, almost. Almost five pounds. Two and a three quarter. Four and a three quarter, excuse me. All right. We'll put the we'll put the vibrating chatterbait down, cause uh, they just they just ain't ready for it. You know, I almost feel like it's cheating now. Honestly, sweetie, I I wasn't even trying to get that fish. He just saw my bait and went for it. I I don't even know. Like I said, that, that was crazy. Here I am trying to learn new techniques to get big hogs. And a big hog just snags my bait. Off a bank in a pond, guys. I'm starting to wonder if that's the biggest one in here. That was crazy, guys crazy so from the video obviously that four pounder was absolutely insane to catch i wasn't trying to catch it i was just working on my skipping technique you know trying to learn how to skip you know for that next time we go out on the boat and man like that was thrilling but as we mentioned earlier in the video we discovered that the villages has 24 fishable ponds and we kind of touched on it a little bit that we plan on going to each one of them. So we kind of decided to make it into a challenge and see if we can catch a bass in each one of those ponds. And then we started thinking like, well, why don't we do it tournament style? But instead of it necessarily being the angler, it'll be pond versus pond. And we are going to actually list and rank each pond we find in the villages that we can fish by how much bass is caught out of it the biggest bass caught out of it and the overall weight that was caught out of it. The first lake we did in about two hours worth of fishing. So we're gonna base it on a two hour time limit in order to see, make it fair, I guess you could say. Now, this isn't scientific at all. Just, you know, we may or may not catch something. So we did make the stipulation that we cannot move on from the current pond or lake until we catch something. And if it's, we just deem it there not to be bass in there. We'll come back later to give it a redemption round. All right, so we're really excited to be kind of doing this because it is something within our area that, you know, a lot of people think they're not allowed to fish unless you are a resident of the villages. And we recently learned that's just not the case. So if you want to see more content like that, like, comment, subscribe. We definitely appreciate you coming out and hanging with us. And, uh, Till next time, my friends.